showtime! The Capital G Show starts right now. What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, Dando Commentary, my first epic duel of the new format. This is going to be an interesting duel. We got Slim Shady at the top playing Evil Swarm. We have Shadow at the bottom playing as Mermil. This is actually a grudge match. These two just played. There was a ton of trash talking, some um, trolling, and uh, Slim won the match. He instantly challenged um, Shadow to a rematch because, you know, there were some feelings afterwards. Shadow accepted, and here we are. I was like, I gotta record the second match. So, anyways, Slim opens up with Heliotrope, four back row, one card in hand. He plays upstart, so Shadow's at 9,000. And as a Mermel player, you'd have to like your position right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, because you're not facing down Opion, so you can play Abyssius, and you can play Megalo and stuff like that. And <clears throat> you can see that Slim has already started the trash talking during his opening turn. He's saying, Hi, you can't mean to shame me. You know what I mean? So um, those are the type of things you're going to see in the chat box all game. So, uh, yeah, Slim's looking at his extra deck, and meanwhile, Shadow decides to summon Abyssius pitching Megalo. And you think that if Slim had a, you know, a solemn warning right now, he could really, really hurt Shadow because that wasn't the greatest opening play. Or if your opponent does that in, like, game two or three and you debunk the, um, the Abyssius, it's like, it's a wrap, man. You get plus one, they lose their Megalo. So, anyways... Um, Shadow summons uh, Linde. Linde is going to try and crash in the Heliotrope. And I would imagine he's going to summon Pike because he has Abyss Gun in his hand. So we'll pr he probably want to try and use that. <clears throat> he does do that. He gets Pike from the deck. He pitches the uh, gun. And we'll see what he's going to get. And I'm really only saying gun because you guys kill me on my pronunciations. I like saying Gundy. The first time I ever heard the card pronounced, it was by Asian Eyes. And I just kind of you know, went with that. Anyways, he searches Marksman from the Pike, and then he gets Megalo back from Gund, and then he's going to attack, and Slim is just, he's yapping, he activates Mirror Force, he calls him a scrub, and he says, you made a mistake, buddy. And it's like, did you really expect to see Mirror Force in an, in an Evil Swarm deck? I mean, that that's a little shocking, although these two did just play, so I mean, if you don't learn from the first duel, it, shame on you, right? So anyways, <clears throat> now um, it goes to the end phase, Slim blind MSTs him. He has two cards in his back row, which he both set this turn. So it's not like he can use Abyss Spear. So I always say, you know, fear the spear, but you don't have to do that right now. So he blind fires um, the MST at bottomless trap hole. So that was definitely a good hit. And Slim is probably looking for a monster. He wants to get to Ophion. He plays upstart Goblin. If he can get to Ophion, he can just generate a ton of advantage. He has to burn Reckless Greed, which I didn't know Evil Swarm even played. And then he blind fires another MST, which makes Shadow activate his Reckless Greed. And I'm like, these guys are so fucking reckless. You know what I mean? So anyways, no pun intended. <clears throat> so Slim is going to now summon, I believe that's um, Evil Swarm O Lantern, which I honestly don't know a ton about that card because it was like the first time I've ever seen it. Slim goes into Ophion. Ophion is going to start searching cards. He gets the Infestation Infection, and then he's going to probably just attack over... Um, Abyssius, and neither one of these guys are going to be drawing cards for like for any time because they're both under reckless. So you see that Shadow can't draw. He summons Genix Undyne, and that falls in the uh, to Solemn Warning, and uh, that's unfortunate because that was probably his only uh, out to Ophion, at least that he has right now in his hand. And you can see Slim is chatting him up. He's saying he's a scrub. He's saying you made a mistake there. And it's like, how do you make a mistake? That was his only play. <laughs> his only play was to summon um, Undyne and hopefully hopefully allow that to um, to put, you know, infantry into the graveyard and pop the Ophion. So anyway, Slim fires back with Infestation Infection. He's going to put the little plant guy back into the deck. Obviously get the Kirkion because Kirkion can get another monster on board for free. And you would think that... Since he can make another Ophion, he's just going to search um, a copy of the Pandemic Virus, which he does. He gets Infestation Pandemic because he doesn't want his monsters falling into a Torrential or something like that. Which means that unless Shadow has Solemn Warning, he really can't stop any of what Slim is doing. So Slim gets Heliotrope and he's just trying to put in for damage right now. And that's what he does. He attacks for 16, 19, and 2550 or 1950, sorry. So um, uh, Shadow eats a mess of damage, but of course Slim has to call him bad first. Because, I mean, that is required <laughs> when a player is playing Evil Swarm and he just has, like, all the cards he needs. So, Evil Swarm, um, Evil Swarm Ophion is going to drop a, another one. And then he's going to search another copy of Infestation uh, Pandemic. So, he has two of them, which is 
a little redundant, but why not take free cards because free cards are free and you still are locking your opponent out of those level sevens and he sets them both and I mean why not finger deck so once again Slim can't draw Shadow couldn't draw there either um, Evil Swarm Ophion is just going to attack he attacks into Lindy and Lindy's going to trigger and what's he going to get he's going to get Turge Turge is going to oh Turge does activate Turge activates by pitching Marksman and Marksman's going to pop a card and then that gets Genix Undyne so hopefully he'll actually be able to use Undyne this, this uh, game so uh, one of those uh, pandemic viruses are gone because that died for Marksman. The second Ophion attacks, and now Shadow is actually able to draw cards again, which he couldn't do for the last couple of turns. So he now summons Undyne, and you think once again that he'd try to, uh, to get rid of at least one of the Ophions by pitching heavy infantry, which is what he does. You're going to take out the one with the material so that you can summon your sevens in case that happens to be, you know, an Abyss Sphere, and you maybe want to go on the Mermaid Bitch and then go into a... Uh, you know lead or something like that and now slim can attack or slim can start drawing cards too it's unfortunate that he couldn't kill both Ophions, which means he's still kind of in a bind here so um Genix undying dies from Ophion attack and uh slim is either gonna hold that card or he's gonna set it you wonder and you know he's he's probably just thinking and then he's you know he's saying hey you can't even do math and Shadow's like, noob, I get it, shut up. So <laughs> he calls him a stupid scrub, and man, the, the trash talking is real. So anyways, Shadow's going to draw his card, and he has four cards against Slim's five. Oh, well, well he activates Salvage, so I guess we're going to make that five cards because Salvage is a plus one. He gets back Gundy, and he's going to get back Marksman because he wants to get rid of that back row. And if he had something like a Megalo here, he probably could win. So he summons, um, what's her name, like Oshia or something like that? I, I know what she does. She can target a Mermil, and then you lose that Mermil, and then you get to summon a Mermil or Mermil cards, monsters from your deck that are equivalent to that, you know, that monster's star level or whatever. So anyways, that gets him a free um, Lindy to the field. Lindy's going to crash, and I thought maybe he was going to try and go for lead here and just try and run over the... Um, run over the the Ophion, but he still doesn't know what that back row is that's next to um to the infestation uh infection so instead he goes into he goes into uh what's it called he goes into turge turge activates by pitching gundy gundy is going to activate and get pike pike is going to use infantry which gets dumped into the graveyard and that's going to blow up Ophion. And then he's probably just going to be able to attack for, what, 3,300? So he attacks, and let's see if there is anything there. And yes, it happens to be a Mirror Force. So Slim starts chatting him up, and he says, hey, you're always making those mistakes. And Shadow's like, fuck, I can't get a break here. So I guess even if he would have went in the lead, it would have been the same result. So um, unfortunately, he only has 1150 left. Um, Slim happens to top deck a monster, and we're going to game two. So... Yeah, those mirror forces actually came in handy. I was absolutely shocked, and I go into the watchers chat, and I'm just like, well, "What is what is what is going on here?" And Slim is now chatting me up for no apparent reason because it's not like I said anything to him. And I'm like, "Yo, who loses the mirror force in the year 2014? Like, who the fuck still runs a mirror force?" But apparently, Slim sees uh he sees opportunity in running two of them. Mirror force is at three or two. I can't remember. I feel like it's at two, but maybe it should be at three. I don't know. Now, now Slim's saying he loves me. Again, I have no idea why. I'm not even in the conversation with the people who are dueling. So, anyways, uh, Shadow's done sighting, and Slim is still, he's still just sighting, and I'm like, dude, shut up and, and duel. I'm not here to talk to you. I'm here to just record these duels now. A lot of people do that. They start wanting to talk to me while they're dueling, and I'm like, focus on what the hell you're doing. I think that maybe they understand that I'm recording and they're like, I'm going to screw your video up. So anyways, um, that was an interesting first duel. Somebody else is uh, chatting me up. Pokemon Jigglypuff, he asked me what my uh, my highest rank was um, during the end of last format. I told him 1890, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, yeah, Shadow's going first this game. And uh, we're going to see what's going to happen here. Um, obviously, opening first with um, Mermil, you think that you have an advantage because... A, you have absolutely no Ophion on board. You don't have to worry about things like D-Fissure or, you know, any of that crap. So we're going to see what's going to happen here. Um, Shadow opens with three cards. He just sets them. For some reason, Slim is talking about me and my Bujins. So, yeah. 
That is that. <laughs> Slim summons Heliotrope and he attacks. This is not scripted, by the way. I just randomly went into this duel, saw them play, thought it was funny. When they rematched, I started recording. And um, yeah, now Bujins is apparently a noob deck. And I'm like, all right, whatever. He plays Dimensional Fissure, which obviously we know cripples Mermil. And then he sets two cards. I mean, how many Heliotropes does this fucking guy run that he's drawing them every single opening hand? I believe that Shadow just set one, passed back to Slim. And Slim's not obligated to summon anything. Ophion's great and all, but why not just keep attacking for 1950? You know, after five shots, your opponent is dead. So, you know, they have to either draw Dust Tornado or MST or something like that. Otherwise, they're just going to be fucked. Now, here's, what, here's something that's weird, right? I went over Heliotrope, and it's like this weird jazz. And I was like, hold on, why, is that German or something? So I went over Dimensional Fission. I'm like, wait, that that's properly set why is heliotrope like why is the font on that all like screwed up like it's in you know helioglyphs or something like that so anyways they're basically just passing turn back and forth um heliotrope is just getting it in and i think that shadow is just looking for an mst desperately he finally gets his mst so um if you're gonna make a play you basically have to do it right here and there so you would imagine d fissure yeah d fissure dies because it died to mst and now he can actually start doing something. And unless some shady happens to have something like a uh, soul drain that you know he could have chained to MSC, he's in pretty bad shape. So Pike is summoned, Pike pitches infantry. So you would think that Heliotrope is going to die. And yes, he is now targeting Heliotrope. Heliotrope goes to the graveyard and he's going to attack for 1600. And let's see if he can get that attack through. Waiting, waiting, wait. Oh, nope, he can't. He falls into a mirror force, and um, yep, that uh, that Pike is dead. So, anyways, uh, you can see the trash talking is still going on in the box, and uh, yeah, it passes back to Slim, who has four cards in his hand, two set. He summons um, Kato's, which is a card that I have only seen him run. It's actually pretty good in games two and three because it can destroy things like um, you know Shadow Mirror or anything else people might side in against, like. Evil Swarm or something like that. Or no, wait, it, no, not Shadow Mirror. But anyways, I've seen him use it effectively on like Phoenix Chain and shit. So anyways, that falls in the bottom list. Um, Shadow summons, um, he summons Lindy and attacks. And Slim's looking at his Banished uh, zone for some reason. And Advantage definitely has to go to um, Shadow here. <clears throat> he tries to go into double um, of the little... Um, I don't know that guy's name. I know he special summoned the first one, then he normal summoned the second one. And then um, Shadow fired Tormentor Tribute at him, and then Slim fired back with seven tools of the bandits. And he's like, I'm not even going to allow you to do that. Obviously, Torrential would have been fantastic because Lindy would have triggered and Slim would have lost his entire field. So he tries to go to an Exceed. You're thinking that he's going into Ophion here, and then he's going to activate Ophion's effect. And, uh, yeah, Shadow is having absolutely none of that. He uses Black Horn of Heaven. And then he throws it on his field, <laughs> kind of to add insult to injury. And then Slim's like, thanks, noob. I'm going to keep that. <laughs> I'm going to set it. <laughs> when I saw that, I was just like, this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> I went into the chat box and everybody's just laughing. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on here, right? <laughs> So everybody's like calling at me. I was just like, yo, that is so fucking funny. <laughs> oh, anyway, so yeah, he's like, you gotta learn today, boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, this dude is just hilarious. So he puts the um the black horn back, and you just have to think that Shadow should easily be able to win this game. He summons Marksman and he attacks. And uh he's um let's see. Slim hits him with torrential tribute, so he's gonna lose his marksman, but he has Lindy, which can trigger, so he's in good shape. And he keeps telling him, he's like, yo, you don't even learn. And Slim is just, he's trolling him, he's trash talking him. And and Shadow, I, I kind of feel like maybe it's affecting him. He pitches title, which is a pretty good play, you know what I mean? He summons the Pike, pitches title. He's going to get himself a Genix Undyne. And what's he going to do? Um, What's it called? He, he went to battle phase, and I didn't see that. So I'm like, wait, how the hell are you summoning Aqua Spirit in battle phase? And I didn't realize that he was still in main phase one. So he did attack, and I'm like, wait, you can summon Aqua Spirit in battle phase now? And he attacks in the Mirror Force again. And you thought by now that, that this fucking guy would have, like, learned by now. So anyways, uh, Slim uses Reckless Greedy. You could just tell he wants to win this turn. He wants to just win so that he can talk so much shit. But 
Unfortunately, he didn't draw any monsters, so he just sets three back row. And Shadow summons, he summons Undying. And you just, you think that he'd be in a position to just win here. So, he pitches, what's it called? He um he activates Soul Drain, uh, Slim does, paying that 1,000 life points. So, he's at, what, 4,500? Slim is at 21. So, he's going to eat, what, 1,200 there? So, uh, yeah, he eats 1,200. And, I mean, Slim's still locked down. He's still locked down under Reckless, so it's not like his position is great, except he has another Reckless Greed, because we uh, we all know in Yu-Gi-Oh! Reckless Greed goes in everything. But he still needs monsters. If he doesn't have monsters, he's not, oh, wait, he ripped Kirkion like a boss. And Kirkion falls into Solemn Warning, and it would just be, uh, please don't have seven tools of a bandit. Don't have, and he has seven tools of a bandit. He's like, you'd never learn... So now all he has to do is just attack for game, and unless he has a mirror force, then, you know, that's pretty much a wrap. So and he's like, you're going to learn today, and that just, yeah, that that's the end of the duel. So much trash talking. I, I thought it was a hilarious duel. Let me know what you guys think. Angriest Evil Swarm player ever, if you happen to run into somebody named Slim Sl Slidey? Slidey? It's not shady. I don't know why. Don't Don't play this guy and lose to him. Otherwise, he's going to talk mad shit. Thank you guys for watching as always.